Hi, my name is Mona and today it's all about tips and tricks for getting the most out of your DTAC 200C. Alright, before you start with the actual measurement, there's already one thing you should consider and that is setting the correct wall type. Now, why is that so important? Well, think for example of a concrete wall, which is really massive. And on the other hand, there are dry walls, which come with air basically everywhere. So now, detecting air in a concrete wall would mean a completely different thing than detecting it in a dry wall. Therefore, it's really important that the tool knows what it is dealing with. When you now start detecting, you should make sure to always measure over a distance of at least 40 centimeters. The tool is collecting data every couple of millimeters, and the more data it gets, the better the measuring result. Moreover, always look at the measuring result while moving the tool back over the measuring path. Like that, the object localization is more precise. However, if you're working in a tight spot and you don't have the space to move your tool to 40 centimeters, then use spot view and you'll get a result right when you put the tool on the wall. But also here, the more you can move the tool, the better the result will get. Another tip I got for you is crosswise measurement. Um, let me explain it like this. If the ruler would be a water pipe, then what is the tool doing? It is detecting differences. So if you measure alongside the object, there is no difference and hence the object will not be found. So you really have to cross the object in order to find it. So every time you work on a wall and you don't exactly know where the object is located, always do a cross measurement so you can just make sure that you're not missing an object by measuring alongside of it. Have you ever wondered how the DTECT gets to its measuring results? Well, there's Bosch radar technology, which is locating all the objects in the wall. Once an object is located, then two other sensors jump in and they classify the uh, found object and say, for example, if it is metal or non-metal. If you have now detected an object, then there are two possibilities to mark their location on the wall. For the first one, move the tool so that the object is centered on the center line in the display. Then use both the upper marking aid as well as the left or right hand marking aid to put a mark on the wall. Then create a point of intersection by extending the marker points in straight lines. The center of the object is located at the intersection point of the drawn markers. Alternatively, move the tool to the left or right until the detected object is centered on one of the two dashed lines in the display. The object is located under the corresponding outer edge of the tool. Next, draw a line along this outer edge on the substrate. Mark the position of the corresponding lateral marking aid and create a point of intersection. That's where the detected object is at. All right, that was it. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and if you did, then leave a like and um, write some comments, follow our channels and see you next time. Bye. Outtakes. Moreover, it's important that you always look at the measuring... Re Another tip I got for you is co crosswise measurement. When you now start detecting, you should make sure to over... Ah! <sighs>